Hey guys, MDL here. Just doing a key run on on my JD clan character, Witch Doctor. And on Monster Power 3. Just it's nice and easy, nice and chilled, nice and relaxed. So my um my setup is a little bit different than it used to be. One of the stages they really buffed the um Witch Doctor up and made him viable again. And one of the things they did was they brought his mana regen up a lot and um, made pets viable again. So I use my pets a lot. They keep me alive, they distract shit, they, um, in the form of my little dogs, actually keep me alive um, by healing me as well. So other, if they didn't have that, I probably wouldn't use the dogs. They just, they don't do much damage, but I've got nothing else I can put there. Or, Nothing I really want to put there, so I'll use the dogs instead. I don't use much crowd control anymore. I tend to rely on the animals, the pets, and the fact that I kill shit pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I'll just go a little bit into what I use and what I like to play with. So I still use my splinters, still very fun, very good single target damage. I still use my firebomb, that's been buffed a lot. And that's with bouncing bones or something, roller bones, there you go. Um, use my gargantuan with relentless giant, restless giant, sorry. So that's pretty much just when enemies get too close, he becomes massive. If there's five enemies, he gets massive. Or if there's elites, which is when he usually does it, he gets massive, double damage, you know, faster attack, faster movement, um, and it lasts for a bit. And that's really good against bosses and elites, because he hits like 300, 400k crits quite regularly when he's in that mode. Um, spirit Walk, just get the shit out of trouble, um, saves me a lot, and um, I'll use it to run around the map a lot quickly too, so it just gets you around a bit. Um, and I like to use the healing journey, so if I do get hurt, I run out and I've healed a bit when I get out of it. Um, zombie Bears, uh, just because they rape, I just wanted something that did a shitload of damage really, really quickly. And now that the mana regen is so quick, um, you can actually use zombie bears and get away with it. And you don't need to use all sorts of mana regen shit to stay alive. And my dogs with leeching beasts, which is where they heal me 50% of the damage they deal. Well, it's divided up between me and them. So they stay alive, I stay alive. All's good. Jungle Fortitude. Just to reduce the damage me and my pets take, it's been dropped from 20 to 15% in a recent patch, but that's still 15% keeps you alive. Pierce the Veil, all of my damage is increased by 20 and my mana costs are increased by 30. So that puts my damage up a lot. And as I was saying, the mana does not too much of an issue anymore, especially not with my setup. Um, and the Spirit Vessel, the whole, oh shit, you're about to die. Boom, you're not dead saves me so much, especially against the Butcher and Diablo and Belial. Oh, really, really handy. And it's cool to pair that one up, so I'm, you know, invisible, can't be hurt. Walk away a bit and instantly chuck Spirit on and just GTFO. So useful. Um, as for my gear, I'll show you some of the cool stuff I bought. I got a really lucky drop, it was a trifecta ring which means it has attack speed, critical hit chance and damage all on it at quite high so I just chucked it on the auction house and sold it for like 150 mil um, and so I always managed to buy some fairly good gear not the best gear by far like that 150 mil wouldn't have bought me one piece of good really good gear but this is enough for Monster Power 5 at least so I've got my Manajumas so it's the weapon and the mojo and this thing just does a lot of damage uh, puts uh, intel up 250 which is awesome crit hit damage increase which I actually looked for after I got I had another one and I wanted to get higher damage so I looked for that in particular um, and the lifesteal which I only really notice when you pull those bastards out but it keeps me alive so that's cool um, and the mojo which adds another 400 damage on uh, a lot of strength which gives me armor a lot of intel for damage they I think it always comes with a 12% life which is good because my life was very low at one stage 
Um, there's only 23,000 now. I think that was down to like 10 at one point, and I just died straight away. Um, and the rest of it I don't care about. But the two set bonuses, the 130 intel is really, really good, and the poison cloud surrounding me, if you can see it, is also quite good. The fear and hit is fun when I'm by myself. It's, it shit, annoys the shit out of my friends when I'm with them and they're trying to attack someone and it just fears them away. Okay, my boots. Ice climbers. They're really good. They always have resist all on, which is good. I'm pretty sure they always have 10 to 12% bonus life percent as a percent. So that's really good for Inferno. Um, especially if you team it up with all other sorts of bonus life up top. Uh, it always has gold. I think it's either gold or magic find, and it always has a really, really high one stat, which on this chance, in this instance, is intel, obviously. Um, Depth Diggers, quite good pants, also legendary. They have a high one stat, sometimes two. Uh, they have always have between 70 and 80 resist all. They generally have a high armor rating, and they always have magic find and gold find on them. I don't know why something to do with digging for gold in tombs or something. Um, I then tried to get myself some Zuni. So Zunis is the five piece set for the Witch Doctor. Um, and I've got the ring, which isn't the best ring, but for this I was pretty much just looking for resist all because I wanted to get that up so I didn't die as much. So my intel is a lot lower than I want it to be here, but what are you going to do? Um, and I also got the chest piece, which cost me a shitload. These are really expensive. Um, but it always comes with three sockets. Um, always comes with the resist all. Just depends on what level. Goes between 60 and 80, I think. Um, and generally has fairly good intel. So that's a pretty average one. I got that one mainly because of the vitality in it, I think. And the high armor rating. I was going for that as well. This ring is due to be replaced by a Inferno Hellfire ring, um, but that's just a piece of shit ring for now. Good enough for me. Good damage, good attack speed. Um, gloves, Sage Gestures, I don't know why I got these. I think there's a crit hit chance and the intel. They've also got life, they've got resist all, so they're pretty good. Um, but they're probably expensive. I think I just wanted really cool looking shit. Um, strong arm braces, again. High resist, high intel, crit hit chance, and life. Um, and all of these things you'll notice will have relatively high armor, intel, and resist all. That's what I was going for. Belts are fucking impossible. I've had this belt for so long and it was a drop. I can't find any viable, cheap belts. They just don't happen. Vile Wards, best shoulders in the game for any class. For for um, barbarians, they're dirt cheap. For every other class, they're really expensive. So they have a high. They always have a really, really high main stat. Um, sometimes they have two. They always have really, really high um, armor. I think the base armor is like close to 400, and then you you know it's pretty easy to get a plus 200 armor on that. They always have between 75 and 80 aura resist, I think, or 70 and 80 aura resist. Um, so that's really, really cool, that armor. Most um, um, shoulders only get up to about 500 defense, so that's wicked. Kaleidoscope. I was trying to find a freaking amulet, and I found this, and these are cheap. So if you want a kaleidoscope, if you want a cheap amulet that's good and a legendary, get a kaleidoscope. I think I picked this up for a mil. Um, and it looked 200 intel off the bat, nice. Nearly 100 vitality, also good. 70 resist all, really good. Crit hit damage is increased, increases my haunt damage, which I don't use, so I don't give a shit about. Um, also, strength and dexterity, which will boost up my dodge chance and my armor, which is awesome. And then my helm, which is a better version of the one I found. So I'm trying to improve this. The armor on this is really, really low, but they're very expensive when you start getting higher with the stats I want. So 170 intel, pretty good. 100 vitality, very good. Age resist all, very good. The regen, not so worried about. Crit hit chance, not so worried about. Especially because I don't use that anymore. And it's got a socket in it so I can chuck my better magic find on. And I sort that out for um, XP sometimes. It just depends on how I feel. So that's what I go for. So yeah, damage is 75k. Armor's not very high. Intel's very high. And my all resists are uh, over a thousand. 
thanks to Intel and all that. And that keeps me alive. Like I didn't really believe in all resist and then I just decided to try it out and it's ridiculous how good it is. So go for it. Really, really useful. So yeah, so for a witch doctor, I'd recommend not so worried about the crit hit ch chances and stuff like that for them unless you get to like where I am now and you've kind of exhausted intel and exhausted damages you can't you know it's very expensive to get them up so you've got to go for the crit hits but for a lower level just you know you just hit inferno just get the armor get the ore resist get the intel for the damage um and yeah and if you when you're first starting off it's fine to go with a shield and a one-handed weapon but as you start getting better at it and you start uh, more confidence and you know more damage you can kill shit you can hold stuff at bay like if I wasn't using these t three zombie dogs I'd probably be using the zombie wall or the grass for the dead just a, a bit of crowd control um, but yeah as soon as you start getting good just go with the mojo because I'll show you 75k take my mojo off 50k one little item that's not a weapon just boosts it up ridiculous like obviously without a weapon it's gonna be low so yeah mojo is good very 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 good and it's not too hard to find a high damage one start off with the damage go for a high damage one then build the rest of the stats up because the damage multiplies with all the rest of your gear a lot better than a bit of extra intel does but that's basically all I can say about the witch doctor very fun class to play and you just just watch it just kill shit so fast it's 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 mad and this is monster power 3 which it's not easy it's not hard at all but it's not easy it's 280k damage there just from a crit it's very fun and it's so much fun just laying waste at everything now, I like my splinters for these guys if I can get to them and that's where the um the roll of the bones comes in handy too because if there's people in front of these little profit bastards I can just lob shit over them oh yeah another change they did um, all your extra life from health globes now applies to your potions as well so my potions healed 12,000 plus or whatever it is in here. Let's have a look. Bonus globe. Uh, that one. So I don't. What? I don't have any? Apparently I don't. Oh well. Must be because of all the shit I keep buying. I really need to get some better stuff. But yeah, it's. Once you get your damage up, everything just dies at your feet. It's pretty fun. But, that's enough of the Witch Doctor. See you guys next time for some of the other classes. See ya.